Hey guys, welcome everybody. Welcome to another episode of our Valley Art Camp Art Channel. Here we go. We are getting ready to start to draw Hello Kitty today. So let's get started. Grab your pencil, grab your, grab your eraser. So I have a little Hello Kitty here. I don't know if you can see her really well, but she's pretty tiny. But this is Hello Kitty. I have Hello Kitty writing ET. So she's pretty simple, pretty basic shapes. So let's get started, guys. All right, so I am going to use my paper and I'm going to make it portrait. So instead of making it landscape, I'm gonna go portrait today. All right, so uh, we're gonna start with Hello Kitty's face. Hello Kitty's face is a big, huge oval. So we're gonna create a big oval shape, pretty big. And let's get going. Pretty big oval shape, okay. Do the best you can to get your oval shape. We're not doing a circle, we're doing an oval, okay? So, once you have that shape, just keep on going. Just trace it out. If you don't quite like the shape of your oval, you can go ahead and use your eraser, okay? We're gonna continue. Now, she has two ears because she's a cat, so we're going to do a triangular curvy shape for her ear. So instead of a straight triangle, we're going to curve the triangle. So curve it a little bit, like that, like cat ears, like that. And then we're going to curve the other ear as well on the other side. And we're gonna try to match the ears so they kind of look the same, okay? Match them up. So they kind of look the same. Perfect. So we have two ears. Now Hello Kitty is really known for her big huge bow that she always wears. So we're gonna create an oval shape right here. And it's okay that the lines, you can see the lines behind the ear right now because we're gonna erase them. So we create an oval right there or you could do a circle, a circle if you want. Then we're gonna create a big bow going this way and it's gonna overlap her ear which is fine because we'll go back and erase it. Okay, so there's the bow, and then the other bow, we're gonna take it out this way and go out this way like this. I'm gonna darken this so you can see the lines a little bit better. Okay, so you want them, kind of get them on the same size. Then I'm gonna do a little oval shape here, or kind of like a U shape. Sorry, not oval, U. And then you see all these lines? We don't wanna see those lines, so we're gonna take my eraser you have a bigger eraser, use your eraser. You see those lines of the face, of the head, the ear. We're gonna erase all those lines that are behind our bow. So then that way we only see the bow itself, okay? And there we go. So we're gonna re-outline here, grab her ear here, grab her ear there. Now this line in her ear we're not going to see because we never see that line okay never see that line and what we can do here with her face we can make her face a little bit longer if you have a pencil if you're working with pencil if you're working with marker then you can't really erase it but i'm just going to elongate her face a little bit just a tiny bit just a little smidge okay then i'm going to erase that perfect so now I am going to create her nose. Her nose is gonna go right in the center of her face. So her nose is also an oval shape right here. I'm gonna keep it on the little lower side. Not too high, not too low. Then I'm gonna add her eye, which is another oval. And then I'm gonna add an another eye that's another oval. So make it a little bit bigger. You can do about a finger, a finger space and you just wanna to try to get them at the same level if possible, okay? You can color those eyes in black because her eyes are black. Her nose is usually yellow. So there is our Hello Kitty. And we're gonna add some whiskers because she's a cat. Whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. Okay, there we go. Now, the shape of her body is basically a triangle, kinda, you'll see. So, in her body here, we're going to curve her body. It's gonna be tri almost triangular shape. Like if I did the tip right here, then it would be a triangle, but we're gonna curve it a little bit. We're gonna make it short, 
Just curve this, curve that, and there we go. That's the body of Hello Kitty. I'm gonna erase those lines right there. Okay, we're almost there. Now, her feet, her legs are basically U's. They go one here and one U here, kind of almost forming almost like a W, but it's a U. One and two. Okay. Now, what's what's missing? <laughs> We're missing her arms. So her arms go out like this, and they cut about here. She has short little arms. Next, we have her paw. So she has one, one right there, one finger, one paw coming out, and then her other, her other paw right there. Okay, and that's Hello Kitty's paw. Next. We're gonna have Hello Kitty holding up a camera in this one. So I'm gonna block off here on this, above where her whiskers are. So her whiskers are gonna be hidden. Above where her whiskers are, I'm gonna create a rectangle right there, okay? That's gonna be the camera that she's gonna end up holding. Then I'm going to create her arm, but it's going to go up, so. It's gonna go this way because okay? she's holding the camera now since I've done my rectangle here for the camera do you see how this line and this whiskers in the way well we don't want to see that so we're gonna erase erase the whiskers those two whiskers and erase that part of the face ta-da now our cameras in the forefront it's in the in the front of the frame that we want the camera so we're gonna make a simple camera we're gonna do a circle and we could do, we could do um, a pattern in our camera if we want to do. We can do a pattern like this, and just stripes, and then we could do a flash on the top for our camera, and we can erase that line as well. And there's our camera. Okay, Hello Kitty's holding a camera. We're gonna do a line here that's gonna create her shirt, and what we can do. For her outfit, we're gonna create a little U shape here because she's gonna wear kind of like almost overalls. We're gonna create a circle here for a button and a button here too. And then we're gonna give her a striped shirt. So one, two, three, four lines. One, two, that's all we can get on that side. Okay, so this is our Hello Kitty. And she's looking cute. And she's ready to take pictures all over town. So, what do we have left to do here? So, we can end here, but it doesn't have to end here. If you only have a pencil and a paper, what you could do is start doing the scenery. So, where is Hello Kitty going? So, maybe she's walking around the neighborhood. Maybe she's taking a little bit of an exercise right now. So, what we can do is we can add scenery. So, we're going to add a little sun in the corner. We're gonna add some clouds to the background. Your scenery in your background, your environment can be completely different than mine. It doesn't have to be the same. So think of a place where you want Hello Kitty to be. It, she doesn't even have to be wearing this type of jumpsuit. You can actually create a whole other jumpsuit. You can create, cut a line here in the center, create a skirt, create some shorts. She could be wearing maybe an art camp shirt. <laughs> she could be wearing your favorite team shirt. Uh, whatever you want, you can create it. Uh, if you're if you're uh, changing the outfit up, she can be wearing a bathing suit. She can be whatever you want. She could be wearing an astronaut suit. Whatever, it's up to you. Get creative. So, here, let's say she's walking around the neighborhood. So, I'm gonna create some little houses in the background, just like that. Just something fun. Maybe I'll create some trees in the background as well, and then I can just create some more houses in the background just like that with some trees and some houses in the background just like that so that's basically her environment you can you can change her environment however you like but this is it for now and if you don't have a pencil I mean if you don't have a marker to continue the song it's okay then you're done if you do then follow along so here I go I have my sharpie my sharpie seems to be dying rather quickly so I'm going to use another sharpie here we go so I'm gonna outline everything with a sharpie 
I'm going to re-outline everything so then that way it's nice and crisp of a drawing. And the outline. I'm going to go pretty fast with this right now. I'm just going to re-outline all my pencil lines and I can change it up however I need to. Okay, let's go over. And if you guys have any requests for any videos that you guys want to see done, um, let me know. You can have your parents shoot me a text or have, uh, have them message me via our Valley Instagram page and let me know what you'd like to see. What other videos you'd like to see. I will definitely take requests. I can pretty much draw anything. So let me know what's your favorite stuff to do. Do you want to do stuff with um, acrylic paints or do you guys want to do that type of art? Right now we're going to keep it easy because I don't know what everybody has. So we're working with pencil first and then we're going to work with crayons and, and all that good stuff. So here we go. Finish her bow. Finish her ear. Finish the sun. And then with her bow, it doesn't have to be just a plain bow. You could do a polka dot bow if you wanted to. It's really up to you. Get creative. This is your piece, your art. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to go with eraser. Eraser, eraser. What I love to do, again, if you've been watching some of the videos, is I love <clears throat> going with pencil and then re-outlining it with a Sharpie. But again, you don't have to do it this way. I love pencil work. Uh, one of the other tutorials that we'll end up doing, we can just do pencil work and shading with pencil. Whoops, oh no, we don't want to bend our paper, wrinkle our paper. But it happens sometimes when you start to erasing, as sometimes I've ripped my paper, erasing a little bit too hard. So just gotta be careful with that. Okay, so now I gotta get all the eraser off my paper. And try to erase as best as possible. Okay, so there are some areas that I missed. So I'm gonna go back. Okay. My desk is a little messy and my light just fell, so give me one second. Oh, here we go. All right, great. Erase that a little bit. And here we go. All right, so next up, we are going to start coloring in Hello Kitty and her outfit and everything that she's wearing. Okay, so we are going to give her a blue jumpsuit. And you can color whatever color you want. So I'm gonna make this dark. And then I'm gonna darken this. I'm gonna darken that. And then I'm gonna go light. I'm gonna go light. And Hello Kitty is white. So you can, if you have white crayons, you can totally use white crayon to color her body. Or you can just leave her blank. Just leave her like that since the paper's already white. You don't have to change anything up. So I'm just coloring everything in right now. And that's my blue. I'm gonna re-outline that. Take a little bit more time with this one. Okay, her bow. I love her bow to be red because, yeah, I love red. Red's my favorite color. I'm gonna make this really dark, so I'm gonna press really hard on my crayon, because I want it to be really bright. The great thing about using crayons, <clears throat> it's a different texture for sure than using paints, because it's made out of wax, but you can press really hard and you get a really nice, a nice color. It's more vibrant, just brighter. I love bright colors. Okay, so just color that all in. And you can make the bow any color you want. You can make the outfit whatever you want. You can change her outfit up. Again, it doesn't have to be the outfit that I drew. 
It could be whatever outfit you want. Now for her outfit here, I'm going to give her red stripes here. I'm just gonna alternate the stripes. I'm gonna do red, skip a color, and then I'm gonna do red here, skip a color, and then red, okay? Next, I'm going to do yellow. Yellow, I'm gonna get my yellow crayon. I'm gonna do yellow buttons, yellow buttons. I am gonna do yellow in her shirt, on her sleeves. I'm gonna do yellow there. Now with the blue, I could always go back and make this a little darker, since I did do the red really dark. So I think I might do that. Might go back. I'm just gonna go back and just make this really dark for myself. Again, you can do it light. You can choose any color that you want. Get creative. Make a polka dot jumpsuit. All right. Okay, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to add a pocket. I think I'm going to add a pocket to her dress. And sometimes your marker runs out. See, once you start drawing, you can just add, add anything that you want. And sometimes your marker runs out. <laughs> and just add. There we go. That's what I want to see. Just add a pocket, that's what I wanted to add. Okay, next, I'm gonna do her nose. Her nose is yellow. Now with her eyes, I'm gonna go in a little darker. Just really fill in what I left white, okay? Now, because I didn't really out, I didn't take my time to outline Hello Kitty, I'm gonna go back and outline her again. I'm using my Crayola marker. I'm gonna take my time to really outline her right because the more I outline her, the better she'll look right now. So I'm gonna just take my time and just really outline her correctly. I'm gonna outline the buttons, outline the body, outline her jumpsuit. And because she's white, it needs that extra pop of black thick line just so she pops a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna outline that and then I'm gonna outline her bow. That look, that's looking so much better. I'm gonna outline it a little bit more. There we go. Depending on the kind of marker you use, sometimes it's harder to outline it with a Sharpie, or especially when it's hitting the crayon because it's wax. So I have to move on to my Crayola marker. Okay, that's looking so much better. So now with my camera, I'm going to outline it with thicker line, black line, just so then that way I can color it in and it looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it like that. Great. And then I'm gonna outline her nose a little bit so her nose pops as well. Keep her whiskers on point. And there we go. Now, her camera, what color camera should I use? Um, she could have a pink camera, she could have a green camera. Maybe we'll do a green camera. Maybe we'll do a green stripe camera with some yellow. That looks good. Okay, green camera. And then we can add the background. So I'm gonna do the sun. Add some yellow sun back here. And I'm gonna do my sky. So my background for my sky, my houses. What color houses do I want to do? Hmm, so let's do, let's do the trees first. I'm gonna do the trees, green. Now, the tree, your trees don't have to just be green trees. You could do apple trees. You could do, you could add detail to your trees. You could have branches. You could have a bird coming out of your tree, whatever you want. So I'm gonna color these trees real quick. And now I'm gonna use some brown for our, for our trunk of our tree. 
chunk down and then maybe I'm gonna make these fun colorful houses how about let me do this house this color and you can do the <laughs> the outside of the house and the door different colors let's say I'm gonna do one of them orange do this one orange okay maybe I'll make one pink why not color the whole house There we go. All right, now the bottom, she's going to either be on the street. If she's on the street, she's on concrete, so that would be gray or like a block, or we can have her on grass. If we have her on grass, what I would do, I would add some grass lines or some grass like this. So then that way it kind of looks like grass. And then what I would do is then darken this right here. And then dark. What I would do is outline this really dark. I'm going to press really hard on my crayon. Press really hard here. Going over that a little bit. Pressing really hard. And then I'm going to go really light. I think I have some eraser underneath there. There you go. And then do really light coloring. Really light coloring like that. Just like that. Okay. Now what's missing is the sky. So the sky, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a turquoise blue. And I'm gonna go in with the clouds. I'm gonna outline everywhere around dark. Dark dark. So I'm just going to trace the clouds out around the block line, around her head, around her ears, around her face, around her arm, around the houses. Just outline that and then color lightly. Outline the trees and then I'm going to color lightly. Oops. And then just color lightly. Or you can color dark, depending on how much time you got. If you really want to take your time, take your time. Keep on going, keep on going until the whole background is colored in. Okay, so I'm getting there. All right, so I have half of it done. So I'm gonna go back around this way. And 